Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. If you're brand new to my channel, then you've probably seen me use Linux, which is the main desktop operating system that I use. And if you're not familiar with Linux, it's very similar to a Windows 10 or an Apple Mac OS. And I myself, I use all three operating systems, but Linux is the main one that I use on a daily basis. And also, if you are a regular of my channel, then you've probably seen me only use Linux Mint. And so today, I'm going to go over my top five reasons why I only use Linux Mint. Starting with number five, and that it's easy. Linux Mint is a super easy to use operating system. And the main reason why it's so easy is because it's familiar. It's very similar to Windows in terms of the overall user interface and look and feel. And what I mean by that is whenever people go to Windows, it's no accident that things are pretty much in the same areas. Things primarily work the same regardless of the versions that you're using ever since older versions like Windows XP all the way up to Windows 10. And this is an important thing because Microsoft Windows is still the most used desktop operating system and that is the version that most people are familiar with using when it comes to their everyday computing needs and so whenever you are going over to a brand new operating system there's always going to be a learning curve and I think for most people who use Windows I really feel that the learning curve within Linux Mint is much lower than if you were to come something from an Apple Mac OS over to Linux where Linux Mint is more similar to Windows than it is to Apple's desktop operating system. And so that's the first thing. So number four, Linux Mint is fast. This is an extremely fast operating system. Linux already requires less resources than something like a Windows. And so naturally, it normally runs faster on the same hardware versus something like a Windows which is a lot more bloated and that's something that you really don't have much control over because there's operating system underneath and so that is something that cannot be ignored and as a matter of fact I still run Linux Mint on computers as old as 2010 and it still runs um, not the greatest but it still runs so that's saying a lot and that's really not something that I could say is the same whenever I am using a Microsoft Windows operating system or even Apple's Mac OS. So the number three reason is Linux Mint has a lot of support. And so if you actually go on Linux Mint's website, they have a large community of people who are there to help. And even more important than that, if you go to YouTube and type in Linux Mint, there are literally thousands thousands of videos available that have people creating videos that support Linux Mint and pretty much any issue that you had it's probably going to be here on YouTube and even another thing is if you go to a popular website like DistroWatch which basically looks at all the different versions of Linux normally you're going to see Linux Mint near the top okay so that is a big thing whenever you are deciding on which version of Linux to use. If there are a lot of users using that particular version of Linux, then more than likely you're going to have a lot of support available. So the number two reason why I only use Linux Mint is it has everything that you need. Whenever you install Linux Mint, for the average user, the majority of what you need to get started using your computer is already here. Things such as the LibreOffice suite. So if you're used to using Microsoft Office, other things like GIMP for all your image editing needs, it's all here. Your internet browser is already installed. And there's many other tools that are already built in automatically that will allow you to quickly use your computer. And so I think this is a lot better approach for a lot of users because most people are coming from a Microsoft Windows or an Apple Mac. And it's great that 
the Linux Mint team has already put in a lot of the most used programs for people so that it's easy for them to actually get started. So what is the number one reason why I only use Linux Mint? Well, the number one reason is it's stable. It is the most stable operating system that I've used compared to any operating system. And also at the same time versus other Linux distributions, say like in Ubuntu, I still feel that Linux Mint, even though it is Ubuntu based, is a lot more stable. And for most people, Ubuntu is pretty stable. And so that is something that cannot be denied or it's something that I think will help a lot of new users, especially when they're using Linux, because the majority of people who are average computer users, they're normally not always going to be the most technically skilled. And so that means whenever they run into problems, it's going to cause them to not want to use it. And so if there's anything that the operating system provides that could make this whole process easier to use and that it's extremely stable instead of crashing all the time, then that's a good thing. So those are the top five reasons why I only use Linux Mint. And as you probably already saw, I have other versions of Linux that I do try out every now and then, but it's not really common for me to actually move over to another version of Linux, you know, like do the whole distro hop thing. And so that is it for this episode. If you had any thoughts on why you use a specific version of Linux, for me it is Linux Mint, then I'd like to know as well. Be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you can do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you actually wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then join my Go Content Creators Group where you will get access to 30 free videos and more continuing content for all their creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is all of this is free. All you have to do is simply go to the link below, head over to our page and join my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks a lot and I will see you on the other side.